All kids love to play with construction toys. But have you ever wondered what it would be like to play with the real thing? The really big machines? These are earth movers. They can move a lot of dirt, but sometimes you need something even more powerful. Watch this. These machines kind of look like big dinosaurs eating old building parts to make way for the new buildings. They have to work really hard. Hi kids, I'm construction foreman Dave. Well, <laughs> I'm not really a construction foreman, but the, the real construction workers told me that I could pretend for a day so that you and I can learn about construction sites, demolition sites, and how all this big equipment works. Now let's see, he told me not to touch one of these. Which one was, let's see. Oh! Oh, that I shouldn't have done that. Well, as you can see, construction sites are very noisy places to be. They're also very dangerous. That's why everybody here has to wear one of these. It's a hard hat. It keeps you, uh, your head protected from flying objects and things. I want you to look at this machine back there, the yellow one. That is a loader. And if you look close, you'll see that the device on the front is kind of like a big claw. It's used for uh, bending and crunching up all the large pieces of metal and things that you find here on this demolition site. And then it's loaded into that high-sided dump truck over there, which hauls it away, and then it's recycled. Times if you're going to build something new, you've got to tear down what was there before to make room for it. We've come to a demolition site where they're tearing down an old shopping mall to make room for a new shopping mall. Now that big machine you see back there is one of the biggest excavators in the world. And that big arm is used to knock the concrete apart. On the end of it is a hydraulic hammer with huge force. It's used to bam, 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 break the cement apart so it can be separated from the iron and recycled. Now the water you see them spraying on the building is simply there to keep the dust down. Another kind of an excavator that you see behind me, but if you'll notice, on the end of the big arm, there's a special device called a cruncher, and it's like a great big shark's jaw. What it does is it bites down on the rocks and then crunches them into smaller pieces so that they can be recycled.
uh, Jim Hayden and I'm superintendent for the Penhall Company, which as superintendent, I get to direct all this operation that you've been filming around here today. When I was young, back in when I was five or six years old, I was moving dirt around with little play toys that I had, and I'm still doing it today. It was fun then, it's fun now. So you could just be demolishing things all day long and tear them down and then you can turn right around and get in the other end of the business and build it all back instead of tearing it down. This machine is called a bulldozer, the mighty bulldozer. Now this particular bulldozer has wheels on it, but as you'll see later on, most bulldozers have tracks just like a big army tank. And bulldozers are used primarily for pushing dirt from one place to another or leveling an area like this so that a building can be constructed later on. come to a different kind of building site now. This eventually will be a 26-story building, a very tall building. With a building like that, you have to have a firm foundation. It has to be securely hooked to the ground so that there's an earthquake or something that it doesn't fall down and move. The way they do that is by using this huge drill bit here to drill a deep hole in the ground. They then fill that with cement and steel and then anchor the building to it, and it becomes very solid so that it won't fall over if there's an earthquake. Well, you'll never guess what this is. This is really the inside of one of the big cement beams or building blocks that will hold up the building eventually. What they do is they make a steel cage, and then they lower this in a frame and pour cement on it. The cement hardens, and because of the steel framework, it makes it much stronger so it can hold up the building. This is one of the biggest pieces of equipment on a construction site. It's a 225-ton crawler crane. Now, it's called a crawler because it's got these big, huge tracks, just like a big tank, only much larger, that moves it around the site. It's almost 15 stories high, and it's used to pick up real heavy objects and move them around the construction site. I'm crane operator Jim, and I've got one of the best jobs on the construction site. I get to pick these things up and move them around and get to play with this big equipment, and, and I get paid for doing this, and it's fun.
is a boom lever. That makes the boom go up and down and makes the load come to the crane or away from the crane. Right now, I'm bringing the boom up so I get my ball over the very center of the load. This lever makes the load go up on the single line that we're using to pull these beams with. This lever here makes the big hook go up and down, but we're not using that today. The lever over here in my left hand is the swing lever that makes the crane move back and forth. Now that's come out of the out of the beam bed there, so we'll move that over where the guys can take the things off the end of it and uh, write the numbers on it so we know where it goes in the building. It's just like a just like big tinker toys. They uh, have a place that's already picked out where they have to go in the building and, and the uh, they have to be numbered so that they don't forget where they go. Now that is a really big crane. That's called a tower tower crane. You, you got to be a little careful on construction sites because it's pretty. It's a little bit dangerous, so you got to be careful where you walk and stuff. Uh, Mike, how you doing? Hey, pretty good, Dave. Mike is the crane operator, and Mike is going to. Uh, Take us up there. Now, how high is this crane? That's 240 feet high, Dave. That's pretty high, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Where's that elevator? There's no elevator on this crane, Dave. We'll be taking the ladder all the way to the top. All the way to the top? All the way. What's A the matter, ladder? Dave? You afraid of heights? Um, uh, no, I'm I'm not afraid of heights. Well, then let's go up, Dave. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm afraid of heights. I, th I think I can do it. How high was that? Oh, man. I'm not afraid of heights. 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 I can do this. I can. I can do this. I. I can do this. I know I can do this. I'm not afraid of heights. 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 I'm... Oh. Hi, kids. We're up on the top of the tower crane now. Let me show you how it works. We have two levers here, joysticks, almost like a video game. The right-hand joystick 
push it to make the hook go down, pull to make the hook go up. On the left hand stick, we push left to make the crane swing left, push it right to make the crane swing right. Pull the left lever in and it makes the hook come towards me, push it out and it makes the hook go out. By doing all of these functions at one time, I can help the men on the ground. Well, if you're like me, you've probably seen these big cranes at construction sites and wondered, well, not only what it would be like to, to be up in the crane this high off the ground, oh, oh, but uh, what it would be like to be out on the end of the crane. So I've uh, talked Mike into uh, giving me that experience. This is an experience that few people ever have. This is the basket that they use for maintenance on the crane. So we're going to go out to the very end, and then he's going to turn it. Wow. Let's go. OK, Mike. Back on the ground, the construction crews are hard at work, hammering, hauling, and welding. Well, we've been at a construction site today, a very busy construction site, and uh, we've been talking to people, so I want to stop and talk to Tracy. This is Tracy Yost. Tracy, what is your job here? Well, Dave, I'm called an operating engineer, uh -huh. and I run this forklift right here. Now, this is a grade all forklift. It's called a what? A grade, a grade all. You see the name on the side uh -huh. here? Grade all forklift. And it's used for what? Well, we use it to pick up anything that needs to be lifted high up so the men can get to it. Okay. It can pick up about 8,000 pounds. That's and, a lot. Right, listen, what's this? Well, this is my radio. This is so I can talk to all the crews. All the crew? And they can call me and tell me what they need. Well, you know, I'm construction foreman today. Can I borrow that? Sure. I'm going to just, uh, I can just talk to everybody. That's right. OK, guys, this is construction foreman Dave. You've been working too hard today. It's time to shut down and go home. Is there a signal for that? Shut down and go home. Uh-oh, I, I, I did it again. Dave, you have to remember you're not a real construction foreman. Wow, now this is another totally awesome machine, and we're about to visit another totally awesome construction site. You know, before you can build one of those buildings, you got to have a road to get to it. Now we're going to see how some of these machines are used in making roads and highways. The first step in building a road is to cut a path for the road with the bulldozer. Then the dirt has to be squished down until it's hard and flat. Next, concrete is poured. This big machine is used to spread it out and make it smooth. These wires put grooves in the surface, so cars won't slip when it rains. In the old days, construction equipment looked a lot different from today. Some were powered by steam, Today, the equipment has gotten a lot bigger. 
These are some of the biggest machines in the world, built by Caterpillar. I kind of like playing construction foreman, even if I am just pretending for a day. Look at this neat little rig they've given me to drive around the construction site. Pretty neat, huh? Well, now we have come to one of the biggest construction sites in the whole world. This is the future site of the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles, California. This project is so big that it has been 10 years in the making. Now, as you can see, they still have a ways to go, but they'll be done soon, and it's going to be a museum. You know how much fun museums are and how much you can learn there, so you'll want to be sure and plan a trip here in the future. So what do you say we check out the construction site and see how they start at the ground, and then the buildings reach for the sky? story building like this big museum here at the uh, the Getty Center where there's lots of different stories before the actual real elevators are installed the workers have to have a way to get up and down to the top and to the different stories on the building they use this machine it's called a man mover and it's kind of a temporary elevator so if you're ready well, let's go take a ride how you doing all right all the way to the top please The difference between this and a regular elevator is there aren't any walls, of course you can see outside of it, and it moves a lot more jerky than a real elevator. It's kind of like a carnival ride. We're almost to the top now. We're there, come on. Thank you. You're welcome. Whoa, whoa! Well, you've seen how they use mostly cement on the lower portions of the building and the foundation, but when you get high in the air, we're about 10 stories now. This is going to be part of the, the uh, auditorium here at the Getty Center Museum. They use big pieces of metal for uh, strength, and those are all bolted together, as you can see, and then they use one of these. This is a welding torch to melt the metal and hook it together, just like glue. But this, the flame on this is so hot that it actually melts the steel. Now, this is not the kind of a job that you want to have if you're someone who doesn't like heights, because as you can see, it can be a very dangerous place to be.
can't believe that I was actually standing on one of those still girders over there. You know, one thing about a construction site, you really got to be pretty brave to work here. And you know, you got to be pretty careful too, because it's dangerous. And you got to be pretty sure-footed because you... Well, As I was saying, if you're going to work on a construction site, you've got to be very, very careful. Very careful. Big machine. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Excuse me, we have a job for you? A job for me? Yeah. Let's move that pile of dirt there. With a shovel? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe we've met. My name's Frank. How do you do, Frank? I'm construction foreman, Dave. So. I see, I see. Yeah. Well, we all have to start somewhere, foreman. and there you go. You want me to move this pile of dirt with this shovel? Seems to me if I was going to move a pile of dirt, I ought to be using one of those, not a shovel. Shovel. I'm not, I'm not. I'm construction foreman, Dave. I am not moving a pile of dirt with a shovel. No way. <laughs>
I guess I handled that pretty well, huh? In fact, <laughs> I guess you could say old construction foreman Dave could just about handle any job on any construction site. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Was dreaming. Yeah, and you still haven't moved this pile of dirt. Listen, I'm uh, sorry about that. You, you really have to be careful around these big yeah, machines. Yeah, you sure don't do. You can hurt yourself. All right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll move the dirt. Do that. Thanks. Move the dirt. Move the dirt with the chunk. No problem. No problem at all. I like the chunk. I like. Well, we've had lots of fun learning about construction, construction sites, and how they use these big pieces of equipment. But if you want to learn more, remember, you can always learn more at your local library. They've got books on everything. So until next time, this is Construction Foreman Dave saying, if you're going to visit a construction site, always wear your hard hat. See you next time. Construction foreman Dave. I'm firefighter Dave. I'm pilot Dave. I'm truck driver Dave. And I'm truck driver Becky. I'm engineer Dave. I'm deputy Dave. And I'm deputy Becky. Join us as we explore all sorts of fun stuff and get in all sorts of trouble. Live action video for kids. Get in on the action and collect the whole series. In There Goes an Airplane, we'll fly all kinds of airplanes. This is one of the biggest airplanes in the whole world. Ah! In There
there goes a fire truck. We'll see what it takes to be a real firefighter. Firefighters have to be specially equipped in the clothes they wear as well in order to stay safe when fighting fires. There's nothing else like it in the whole world. So get in on the action now. <laughs> And there goes a bulldozer. We'll actually drive some of the biggest machines in the world. It's like a great big shark's jaw. What it does is it bites down on the rocks and then crunches them into smaller pieces so that they can be recycled. He told me not to touch one of these. I shouldn't have done that. And there goes a truck. We'll learn all about big rigs. The fuel goes into the engine, it explodes and drives the pistons up and down. Bang, 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 bang. Wait a minute. This is not supposed to lift me. Wait, it's hooked on me. And there goes a train. It's all aboard for fun. As you can see, these engines are really big. All aboard! <laughs> And there goes a police car. We'll learn all about police work and the neat equipment they use. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go fly. Live action video. It's big, it's exciting, and it's lots of fun. Hey, kids, if you like the action you just saw, you're going to want to collect the whole live action video series. Coming soon, there goes a spaceship. There goes a race car. There goes a big ship. And lots more. 247, David, come in for a call. 247, 247 David, that's, that's us. us. See, See you next time. time.